Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokinder Kumar, and today I'm going to uh, make a video on protein and data bank. Before we start using PyMole, uh, because this series will be everything, uh, we will know everything about PyMole. The, in this series, I'm going to make videos on how to use PyMole, how to make uh, publication quality figures in PyMole, how to understand ligand interactions, how to label amino acids in PyMole. But before that, we need to understand uh, protein data bank first. So as you can see on your computer screen, so this is uh, how protein data bank uh, homepage look like. There is a search tab here. So here you can uh, search the protein of interest that you want to work on. And there are various other features. I will not go into the detail of this particular home page, but I will go into the detail of the proteins, mm, uh, structural information about the proteins and functional information about the protein. So let's start the tutorial by entering the name of the protein. For example, I want to uh, download the structure of a protein, uh, LAS R. So Pseudomonas aeruginosa is the name of the organism and LAS R is the name of the protein. So uh, you can also type LASR directly. So let me type LASR and it's going to give you a lot of information. So you can also select uh, from, uh, from these particular options that are available. For example, if I select the first uh, particular option that was given to me and now I can see these are the structures that are available for that particular protein. So this is very important point that for one particular protein you can you can get multiple structures. So it depends upon uh, uh, the um, uh, the type of the structures that you want to use. For example, many proteins have multi-domains, so uh, you can get various. Um, various uh, different different domains as a separate PDB structure. You can get various conformations of the protein as a separate PDB structure. So that depends upon your requirement. So you will get a lot of different different uh, output results. But I'm interested in a particular uh, a particular crystal structure and and for that I know the code. So this is basically the code for that particular crystal structure. It's a four letter code. And when you start working on particular protein, you need to remember this particular code so that you can mention that code in your research um, article. And uh, you should always work on that particular uh, particular code so that uh, because the information will be very specific for your uh, for your uh, crystal structure. All right. So the code for my protein uh, is two UV zero so i'm typing uh, to uv zero so that's the code for my particular protein which is last pseudomonas aeruginosa last r ligand binding domain okay so let's see what kind of information we actually got from this particular search result you can see it gives you uh, the the four letter specific unique four letter code then it gives you the the name of the protein right it gives you the structure of pseudomonas aeruginosa bound with autoinducer so autoinducer is the ligand present inside the protein and there are also uh, additional information for example it gives you the name of the organism as already mentioned uh, by me that uh, the organism is Pseudomonas aeruginosa and what is PaO1? PaO1 is the name of the strain. Now you have expression system. Expression system means the organism that was used to purify that particular protein. In this case you have E. coli uh, BL21 as an expression system. Classification is another uh, important parameter that I missed that classification tells you that what is the main function of this particular protein. So it is a signaling protein that is uh, uh, responsible for the transcription of its genes. So transcription is the main classification area. Then you get uh, important information about the crystal structure. Here you can see the resolution 1.80 and uh, our values 
uh, information uh, then you have further uh, the article information uh, and the author information and you can also search this particular article by clicking on this particular link so you get most of the information about this structure on the on the structure summary page and uh, now let's move on to the second tab which is 3d view in 3d view so it's more like pymol pymol but uh, it doesn't give you a lot of uh, lot of control over over various things so that is why we use separate software for analysis but it is also really good molecular graphic system and you can get uh, a lot of information ex extracted from this particular uh, 3d uh, viewer of the pdb so i'm gonna make this uh, window much bigger and I'm going to explain to you what are these uh, these things. These are the sequence. Uh, these are the name of the amino acids, uh, one letter code of amino acid. And uh, as you can see, when I click on this one, I get information here on the lower right corner of my screen about the amino acid. So you can see while I'm moving, I can get information, so which is pretty convenient. Now, uh, I'm seeing four domain so you can see four different colors so they are four domains of the protein uh, but in this particular protein uh, the protein was purified as tetramer so all the domains basically are same and you what what uh, what are the options that are available for you uh, you can see on the right side that uh, you can show water molecules these red drop uh, these small spheres are the water molecule if i click on this one and uh, then the water molecules are uh, no longer available in the crystal structure then you have ligand if i want to uh, hide the ligand now you can see that there is a difference but i can show you by hiding the overall structure of the protein now you can see um, if i hide everything um, and then one by one i can show you you can see ligands so these are the ligands present in the uh, in the protein structure then i can show you the polymer and now you can see the polymer which is protein or polypeptide in this case so uh, this is a 3d viewer and it gives you a good idea about the three-dimensional structure of the protein if you are not using pymol and you want to have a quick view of the 3d structure of protein it can have other options you can also export the image by clicking on this particular uh, uh, tab here which is a kind of a shutter icon here right so you can also have some of the settings so you can change the background if i want to change the background to green uh, or blue or uh, dark uh, black or uh, or some other colors but uh, white is the best option for for the figures you can also change the finishing you can see this is more metallic finishing so uh, your structure will look more beautiful and catchy when you use these uh, different different settings but uh, anyways one of the important thing that we're going to use um, in pymol also is clipping clipping uh, cleaves the uh, part of the protein and then uh, you can no longer see that particular uh, section of the protein so this is you can you uh, if you can see uh, that um, some of the part of the protein is no longer is available because I clipped that part of the protein. But anyways, we're going to use those particular settings in the pymol. So after uh, understanding the 3D viewer of PDB, let's move on to the annotations. Annotations, we will get gene annotations, protein annotations from this particular web page and they, they are all the links that you can click and get the information about the annotations. Then the sequence, it's really important. Sequence, you can get uh, the FASTA, FASTA file sequence uh, of that particular protein. If you click on FASTA sequence, you will uh, immediately download a FASTA file. I'll show you uh, how it looked like. So it will look like uh, the, uh, the alphabetical 
order of the amino acids in the protein sequence. So that's the FASTA sequence of the protein. And as you can see, this is also very, very in, uh, informative uh, figure. You can see in this case, it's a two-dimensional structural information of the protein where you can see these are the alpha helix. So this is also very useful information about the structure of the protein. And then the last tab is the experiment. Experiment tab provides you all the details that were used to purify the protein, also to perform the crystal structural analysis. You can see during diffraction, what are the parameters that were used. Uh, and you can see during the crystallization experiment, what are the parameters that were used. So if you are trying to purify this protein and trying to do structural analysis of this protein, this page is really, really helpful for you. All right, so if I go back to the home page, on the home page, uh, you can see it provides the general information about the latest uh, structures that are available in the PDB. It also provides the molecule of the month. In this case, you can see it's a spike protein. And uh, uh, you can also see various other uh, additional uh, tools that uh, PDB provides. Uh, this is PDB 101 web page of the a protein data vec website which provides you exciting things uh, for example various uh, things for high school students so that they can uh, get attra attracted towards this this kind of research so there are various tools that you can the, you can uh, explore in this particular website so lastly uh, we are going to uh, know how to download the file and we are going to use that file for the uh, pymol sessions okay so you can you can see this is the tab this is the most important tab that you're going to use uh, frequently if you're using pymol and if i click on this tab i can download faster sequence that i've already shown you the pdb protein data bank format which is the three-dimensional coordinates of the atoms and uh, this is the format that uh, we want to download uh, to uh, understand the functioning of PyMol. So I'm going to click on this one and immediately after clicking, I will see a file is getting downloaded and this file, uh, the name of the file is the name, uh, the four letter code of the particular protein. If I click on this one and you are going to see PyMol window open immediately on your computer and you can see this is the default view of the protein and uh, from here I'm going to start the PyMol tutorials so I'm going to show you how to make uh, structures what are the different components that you're seeing right now on your computer screen and what are the functions of all those components so stay tuned till I present you the next next video where I'm going to show you all those uh, uh, interesting interesting uh, functions of PyMol. And if you like the video, please press the like button. And I'll see you in the next video.